It was an absolutely beautiful day to wrap up the weekend. It sounds like, Brandon, this week, most of this week will be mm -hmm. just as beautiful. Most of this week, you're right. Unfortunately, though, all good things have to come to an end at some point. But even when the rain starts back up on Thursday, we're still going to stay warm. So I can't beat that yeah. overall. Spring preview. Let's take a look at the Harlan camera on the campus of Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College. I'd throw that in there, you know. I have to I have to represent my new job with my old job. So, but a beautiful shot regardless tonight. And you see the sun's finally going down there a little bit there in the distance. And a beautiful day across the region. We showed you Jackson a little earlier. And now let's show you a clear sweep of live pinpoint Doppler radar. Not a whole lot to tell you about here as we approach seven o'clock this evening. We're going to see a nice calm trend over the next several days. Temperatures cooling off quickly after sunset. We see 48 there, Monticello, 52 Somerset, 56 London. Middlesboro 53 up toward Jackson, 49 in Paintsville, and 50 over toward Wise. But in the regional view here, you'll see a lot of warm air off to the south and west. Little Rock 71, Nashville, Huntsville in the 60s still at this hour. So we're going to see that warm air start to push this way as early as tomorrow. We got the first leading edge of that tonight, and then we'll see more of that building in. Clouds filtering back and forth throughout the daytime hours. Very nice day across most of the area with lots of sunshine, just a few little high clouds, but unfortunately a weak disturbance is going to pass off to our north. You see the leading edge of those clouds now back towards St. Louis, Springfield, and Kansas City. That's all going to push off toward Indianapolis and beyond, but the clouds are going to clip us. We keep away from the rain, but it's the clouds that get us. So let's take you through tonight. Starting at 7 o'clock, you see all clear across the mountains and you see those clouds start to thicken up a little bit by 11 o'clock news time and beyond. You see a little bit of green showing up here out near Missouri. We're going to continue to see that push off to the west and, or excuse me to the east and to the north from St. Louis to Chicago by early in the morning but that stays off to the north but you see the clouds here across the area still being an issue. Now future view is being real aggressive on how much it's going to keep the cloud cover into play. You see by 4.30 tomorrow afternoon, it's still looking cloudy. I am cautiously optimistic. I do think those clouds will start to thin late in the day. I think it'll be a cloudy start, but it will be a dry start regardless. And as we go through the next several days, you really can't beat this. Partly cloudy skies tomorrow. Sunshine for your Tuesday, but look at that temperature trend from the 60s into the 70s. And yes, you're seeing that right, 75 by Wednesday, and it could be even a touch warmer in spots. A few more clouds in the mix, I think, on Wednesday and Thursday. Unfortunately, that's when those rain chances will come back into play. We'll see temperatures though stay pretty consistent until about this time next week when we see a little bit of a drop in temperature. Those rain chances, unfortunately, going to continue, but it will stay spotty. So that's some good news with that. So we'll continue to watch that. But overall, Angela, I really think. Uh, this is going to be a good week to get out uh, activities outside. I know a lot of folks are ready to get out and uh, start to garden and some Absolutely. things. So uh, it's be a good week to get started. I just like seeing the 70s I up know, on that right? seven day. <laughs> exactly. And no snow in that forecast. No snow. Thank goodness. That's right. Thank you so much.